How's that, then? Bloody marvellous. Uh, I do a better job on shop fronts, I suppose, but it's not bad. Not bad. It's better than that. Stuff. Should have uh, had it up in lights. Well, it will <laughs> on the next one. Oh, when's that arriving? It'll come, don't worry. <laughs> Here, Stan, make sure you hang on to some of that paint. Oh, uh, did you ask Sanders? It's about the hut. Oh, yeah, it's ours. It is? Oh, come on, Ben. Let's go and have a look at it. Thanks, Dan. Any time, Ren. Here, bit of a turn up. You're running an airline in Garton, eh? <laughs> no, I've known him since his bloody arse was hanging out of his <laughs> trousers. Yeah, man, you <laughs> silly old son. <laughs> right! All right. Oh, what do you think of it, then? Oh, yeah, very smart. Well, I want to make a start in those brakes. And I want a hand, Peter. No, it's all right. We're just going to have a look at the hut. <laughs> Come on, Ollie. Right. Right. Ah. Hey, have you got the key? All right. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh... Very smart, Jack. Uh huh? <laughs> That's going to take weeks. Oh, come on, it's just what we want. The RAF's even left us a phone, and it works. Yes, and half a ton of scrap iron and a whole pile of other rubble. And enough dust to choke a lot of us. There was plenty of room for storage. There's a desk there for Jen for the typing. We haven't even got a typewriter. It's arriving tomorrow. Yeah. Fell off the back of an MOD lorry. Oh. <laughs> Just so long as there's room in there for me to dust down. Yeah, well, customers won't think much of that. I'm too found anywhere yet. What about his digs? The day you pay me wages, Jack, is the day I move in. Hey, 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 stop, stop. Pub's coming up. Are you uh, sure you can afford a beer? Well, didn't you know? Landlord's giving me the job as the pot boy. <laughs> no hangovers, 8 a.m. sharp. I thought you'd paid them. Well, they'll be all right. Taking me to the pictures tonight, can't you? Oh, are we still going? Of course we are. Oh. There's hell of a lot to do, look. Jack, we haven't been out for ages. Well, on one condition. What? I'll take you to the flicks if you clean out the Nissan hut. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, Jerusalem has long been the focal point of the still unsolved problem of Palestine. Although in times of comparative peace, Jews and Arabs live side by side and go about their business in the old city of Jerusalem with apparent calm, beneath the surface, bitter enmity has continued to smolder for years. Still. Shifting about like you've got fleas. The King David Hotel itself. And the result of the crime, the tragic scene, is like a serious incident during the Blitz. And casualties were very heavy. Palestine. Are reporting, and there is they never run out of wars, do they? Any of the 58 missing. Many arrests have been made. Leaders of the Jewish agency have expressed horror at the dastardly crime perpetrated by a gang of desperadoes. 
Stay away to join the big film. I don't know why you come. I didn't know where the choice. You don't. That must be why. Don't say much for me. I can't drag you away from that rotten old Dakota once a week. Careful, you're talking about the one I love. Don't I know it? But you can't say never take you out. I paid, remember? Oh, yeah. Tell you what, we'll skin air services will treat you to supper. Don't tell me. Fish and chips. I don't reckon love hungry, is he? Starving. One and four. Okay. Oh, it's all right. You paid, yeah? Came home without any money. I don't know how he got those other two to come back up north with him. They must be dafter than he is. Ruskin air services. I bet he has BOAC shaking in their shoes. Look, he got the plane and he has got the business going. Credit where credit's due. Ah, well, if you could call flying a few pound of wet fish from Grimsby to London a business, I suppose he has. Well, there's this job in Ireland tomorrow. <laughs> and what's that? Black market. There's something not far off. And now you don't know that. I'm not so daft, I can't guess, though. No good going on about it all the time, Dad. Jack Rusty moves in here to live with our gem boulders, brass, and I shouldn't say anything. Oh, let's not go through all that again. You liked him well enough when he came home with his medals. I'll say what I think. Still, I suppose yep. that made up for me. Someone to show off to the neighbours. Alan. Well, we've plenty to show off to the neighbours now. She's always done what she wanted, Jen. She's never listened. I don't know why Jack couldn't stay down in London. Jen would be with him. Look wherever he was. Coming up north, all part of his route to the top. Route to the top? He starts off a big fish in a small pool. He grows a bit. Next step's a bigger pool. <laughs> Hasn't got off to much of a start, though. Not with that bloke kid bleeding him dry. Oh, I reckon his next step will be the dull cue. It's the only thing that's will knock any sense into him. Hey, anything else you want tonight? It's a do for now. Hmm. Didn't you get some money from Glover for that Irish job? Yes, I did. Only half so far. And it's all gone. Wireless equipment, pink to tart up the DAC, repayments to K. Wages. I'll pay them as soon as we get back from Ireland. I don't know how those lads put up with it. Oh, all right. You haven't paid them for weeks, Jack. We'll get straight once Clover gives me the rest of it. It's good money. It's a shady deal. Uh, but it keeps me flying, that's what matters. 